What a tumultuous two months it really has been for Manchester United. From losing to Brighton and Spurs, to winning three in a row against Burnley, Watford and Young Boys, to drawing with Wolves, losing to Derby, losing to West Ham, and then drawing to Valencia in the space of 10 days, to Newcastle, to being 2-0 down within 10 minutes, to being 2-0 down after 70 minutes, and turning it around in United style with three late goals from Juan Mata, Anthony Martial and a 90th minute winner from Alexis Sanchez in front of the Stretford end. What a multitude of emotions it has been for United fans over the last two months. And after that Valencia game, it really felt like Mourinho's sacking was inevitable. Like it was a case of when and not if Mourinho was going to go. But that Newcastle game has shown Jose Mourinho and shown me that he can save his job at Man United. And here, Gary Neville explains exactly why. But the way in which Manchester United were playing for 60, 70 minutes, and the way Newcastle were playing, all of a sudden you think, well, if they really aren't with the manager, if they really don't want to wear the, the, the shirt of the club, if they really don't have that spirit, we're really now going to find out. But the players in the last 25 minutes responded, and they were fighting for everything, they were pushing to the end. And it was a little bit messy. It wasn't the perfect performance in football terms. In fact, if Jose Mourinho watches back that game, he, I'm sure he could make a, a video, a horror video, to show his team in some of the mistakes that was made. And he had to make substitutions and change the systems, the tactics. I'm not quite sure what they were playing at the end. But it was a good day in some ways because it demonstrated the spirit of a club and brought the fans, the manager, the players together. And they're the key elements of a football club. The manager, the fans and the players. There has to be that connection between them. And in the last few weeks, there has been that sort of divide between sort of some of the, man the manager and some of the players. The fans then thinking, well, is Pogba this? Is Martial this? Is Bailly this? Is, is Jose this? And that question start coming. But yesterday was a good moment because they all came together in that last 25 minutes and there was a fire in the ground. Old Trafford was as one on Saturday. As Gary said, the manager, the fans, the players, Everybody was on the same page. There was a fire inside Old Trafford. And the path for Mourinho to saving his Manchester United job is pretty simple on paper. If Mourinho can start matches in the same approach that United approached that second half against Newcastle, if the players can show the same sort of desire and commitment that they showed in that second half, then both of those combined will get the fans on board at Manchester United. And you've only got to look at what's going on at Liverpool right now for an example of how important that is. Liverpool have won fuck all under Jurgen Klopp. Yet every Liverpool fan loves Jurgen Klopp and what is going on at that club because they can see the direction that they're going towards. They can see that all the players are on the same wavelength as the manager and they all want it. And that transcends to the players. Now at United, we haven't had that under Jose Mourinho. It's been very disconnected. But just as Gary Neville said, as I keep repeating, the manager, the players and the fans were all on the same wavelength at Old Trafford for the Newcastle game. And that last 20 minutes was proper United. It, was, it felt special because we haven't seen it that often since Fergie went. 2 nil down after 70 minutes, you're looking at the game thinking, there's no way back in this for United. Then one matters free kick changes it. Anthony Martial, special goal with Paul Pogba, them linking up, and then Alexis Sanchez with the biggest moment of his United career to date. Hopefully it's a big transformation point for him as well. But United came from 2-0 down to win 3-2 when the game looked against them. The game looked dead and buried. But it wasn't because the players wanted it enough not to be. And as I said, the path for Mourinho to saving his job is simple because we've seen the blueprint in that last 20 minutes against Newcastle. Mourinho can get United singing again. He did get United playing the United way in that last 20 minutes against Newcastle. And if he truly wants to save his job at Manchester United, the example is right there of how to do it. But for Jose Mourinho, it's a massive crossroads because on the one hand, he could stay firm on how his career has been to date. For the mammoth games we've got coming up, Chelsea away, Juventus at home, then we've got Everton as well, we've got Bournemouth coming up and we've got City away. And then Juventus away in the Champions League. He could revert to character, revert to his naturally pragmatic approach and risk losing the fans again. Those fans that came back on board for what we saw 
from that Newcastle game. Or he risks it. He adapts and he adopts a different style. That style that we saw in that last 20 minutes against Newcastle. Throws caution to the wind by trying to maximise the attack and potential that this United squad has. And make no mistake, this attack is one of the best in the league on paper. Sanchez, Martial, Lukaku, Mata, Lingard, Rashford. So many attacking players in that team. But we're not making enough of it because the style is not helping it. You know, Mourinho hasn't typically adapted too often in his career. But if you look at Ferguson, Sir Alex Ferguson, he was a good manager. But what made him a great manager was his ability to adapt. And if you look at that, two th that period that United had between 2006 and 2009, Carlos Quiros came back in as United's uh, assistant manager. And in that three-year period, we dominated the league. We won the Champions League. And it all came from a tactical switch, the switch from the 4-4-2 that Fergie had built decades on to a 4-5-1 slash 4-3-3, a different formation entirely, to get the most out of the team, to adapt to the football that was happening at the time. That is what made Fergie great, his ability to adapt and change to his environment and the environment of football. Had United stuck to 4-4-2 at that time, we wouldn't have had that dominance. Fergie adapted and United reigned. Now, if Mourinho truly wants to keep his job at United, he has to adapt, and we've seen the blueprint against Newcastle. If he doesn't adapt, and he does revert to character, I still feel it's then a case of when and not if he does get sacked. But as I said, if Mourinho does want his job enough, the answer is right there in that last 20 minutes against Newcastle.